So for the next drill we have is we're going to work our press technique. Now this can be used for any defender on the defensive side of the ball. So first thing we're going to go over with is spatial awareness. Now, first thing you need to realize is who you're covering. Is he fast? Is he slow? Is he shifty? Is he not? That's going to dictate on what we need to do. Obviously, if he's a fast guy, you want to get hands on him. If he's not as fast, then maybe you could back up a little bit and still get hands on him. At the end of the day, we want to dominate the receiver, so we have to control the route and we have to control the starting point of our progression. So next thing is your length, spatial awareness. Now, how far should I be off? Well, that depends on how lengthy you are. As you can see, I'm a pretty lengthy big corner. I'm right here, that's about two and a half yards off. So I can be that far off, why? Because I have long arms. So if you're a more smaller corner, most likely you're probably gonna have to be up at one and a half. You won't be able to be back at two and a half because that'd be too much cushion. Same way for a longer corner. If we're a longer corner, if we're up too close, that does us no good. So we should be at about two and a half. Shorter corners should be at one to one and a half. So there we have spatial awareness. Now alignment. Obviously this, this is the sideline right here. So the ball's inside. So we wanna be around shoulder to shoulder right there. So my right shoulder should be in line with his right shoulder. And that's our alignment right there. So we shouldn't be too far inside. We shouldn't be too head up. You want to be right here you want your shoulder breaking the receiver's midline right there and that'll give you correct leverage as a defender the first step we're going to take is our key step now our key step will always be with the outside foot so the foot that's closest to the sideline that's the foot we're going to take our key step with so we're here boom after the key step we're diagnosing the receiver we're taking the key step so we can read the receiver's release. We're gonna read the receiver's release. That's gonna allow us to be patient and really read it so we can get hands on him. So I have my spatial awareness right. I have my alignment right. We're key stepping. When the receiver release, boom, we're punching. Just right there. Now, if he releases outside, we're punching right there. And we wanna use an offhand punch. So what we don't wanna do is use our right hand because if we go right here, and he swipes it up, looks what happens to my hips. It's locked in, he goes right around me, touchdown. That's why we always wanna jam with the off hand. So if he does swipe it, I'm still open. But if we jam with the right hand, hips are locked, touchdown. Now, the jam and the release will be dictated on the receiver's release. So I'll take my key step, if he releases inside, boom, I'm here. I take my key step. If he releases outside, boom, I'm here. So if he releases inside, boom, we're using the right hand. If he releases outside, boom, we're using the left hand. That way our hips don't get locked out and we're able to compete with the receiver. So here's what this drill looks like. So we'll do two reps of the receiver going to the outside, two reps, of the receiver releasing inside. Two reps of the receiver doing an outside release. Now notice how I punched and kicked and stepped. I maintain that low pad level. We have to do that each and every rep. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So we're the receiver releasing inside. There you have it, that's two reps. Obviously I'm on the right side of the field right now, so I'm playing the right defender. Now we're gonna switch it to the opposite side as if we're on the left side of the field, defending on that side. Now we're doing the same thing, but now I'm playing the left defender on the left side of the football field. Good. So that was two outside releases. Now we're going to do two inside releases. Look, notice my eyes, how my eyes are locked in on this lower hips. Notice my pad level. Notice how my arms locked out and notice how I'm kicking to a 45 degree angle. So 
there's two reps of there of an inside release. So remember, key reminders right here. Spatial awareness. Boom, I'm a long rangey corner. I could be two yards off. And I'm here, key stepping with our inside foot. So the foot that's close to the sideline, that's where we're gonna key step with. So since I'm on the left side of the ball right now, I'm key stepping with my left foot. Boom, if he releases outside, remember, off hand. Not this hand, so my hips aren't locked out. Then if he releases inside, I'm stepping, boom, I'm here. So there you have it. There's your press man release concept right there.